games. You need to make sure that you and your teammates average sixes or better in practice. You need to make sure you average sixes or better against the weaker teams in your league. Because when you play against weaker competition, if you're getting shots that are up here in this part of the scale, trip after trip after trip, then you play against a good team and then you've got a chance. Then you've got a chance to get shots that are good enough to beat good teams. But if every time you play, you and your teammates keep settling for shots around this part of the scale, well, you may beat a lot of bad teams, but when you keep settling for those shots against the better teams you're going to play against on your schedule, they're not going to be good enough to win. And one bad shot a quarter can make a difference in a close game. It's critical that not only you understand what a good shot is, it's critical that a point guard be able to influence their teammates' shot selection. How can you influence your teammates' shot selection? Jay? Say it again. Okay, by example. Definitely leading by example is one good way. We talked about how, though, if that's the only way you lead, you're a very poor leader. And I bet every single one of you has at least one of those guys on your team. It doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't matter what kind of example you set. They're just one of those black holes. And every time they get it, whether it's a good shot, bad shot, it's going up. How can you influence those guys' shot selection? Okay, I think that's a great idea, but how? He said in practice, make a rule that you can only shoot good shots. That's a great idea, but again, how? How can you influence them? Your example is one way, but mm, we talked about how that's usually not enough, especially when it comes to this. How else do you think you can influence your teammates? Give them reminders. Okay, reminders. Remember we talked yesterday about how important reminders are. But don't forget, we said reminders are only useful when? Before they're needed. So if one of your teammates comes down and jacks up one of those ones and twos and threes and it doesn't go in, well, and he's probably already frustrated because he missed that shot, well, running back down the court is probably not the time to get in his face and say, come on, man, that's a bad shot. Probably not good timing. Reminders are only useful before they're needed, but when it comes to shot selection, you got to go a step beyond reminders because, again, if you could boil winning and losing down to one thing, it would be this. When it comes to shot selection, you've got to make it a daily conversation with your teammates. Write those two words down. It's got to be a daily conversation that you have with your teammates. That means shot selection has to be something that you talk about with your teammates every single day, all year long, all summer long, all preseason long, all season long. Because if you wait until that big moment in that, cru in that crucial game at the end of the season when your team absolutely positively needs to score, if you wait until then to get your guys together and say, hey, let's get a good one this time, let's get an easy one, let's get an eight, let's get a nine, they're going to have no idea what you're talking about. But if all summer long, all preseason long, all season long, they've gotten used to, you hear, get, gotten used to hearing you say things to them like, let's get an easy one this time, let's get a layup this time, let's get an eight, let's get a nine, then when you get to that crucial moment at the end of the season in that big game and you get them together and you say something like that, they're going to know exactly what you're talking about. So, you got to get used to training your teammates to take those easy shots. And it's got to be a conversation that you have every single day if you're going to be able to influence them into taking good shots.